I just got the hazelnut truffle mocha from Dutch Brothers. I will not be going to Starbucks ever again as long as this drink is on their menu. questions about how I do my hair especially with a newborn um, and I kind of have an updated curly hair routine that's a little bit different than what I used to do in the past the key to having very luscious looking curly hair with you know defined curls and texture is to make sure you're putting the product in when it is wet so something that has changed is that in the mornings, I do a body shower, but I don't wash my hair in the mornings. This is all happening at night, and this is how I sleep with my hair in, which I'll do like a little cutaway, so you can see me doing this and what this process entails. <laughs> but after I shower, so I shampoo and condition my hair, I wrap it in a turby twist. And this is a special type of material that is really good for curly hair. Cotton can increase the frizz and just the dryness overall and that dry look to it. So turby twist. I get these actually at TJ Maxx. You can find them on Amazon, but I love those. And also it's, I feel like it's easier on the neck than wrapping, you know, a terry cloth towel around your head. And then the next thing I do is I take the, the turby twist out of my hair and then I use Shea Moisture's leave-in treatment. So it's a leave-in conditioner. It's it's a mouthful. Sugar cane, sugar cane extract and meadow foam seed, silicone-free miracle styler leave-in treatment with marshmallow root. So I have like three bottles of this. I run it through my hair. I put it in my hands, like a quarter size, sometimes more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rub it all in my hands and then I, you know, comb it through my hair, really focusing on the ends because that's what tends to get really dry. And then I have a couple of products that I kind of alternate through. So just depending on if, you know, you want more of a budget friendly option, but budget friendly option, I would say, and this is one that I really, really love. Hold on, gotta get the wide tooth comb. So I, after I do the leave-in conditioner, I will run <laughs> this wide tooth comb through my hair just to get any excess hair out if there's any tangles which usually there aren't but you know just run this run this through your hair and then I use the John Frieda Frizz Ease Dream Curls Mousse so I will do like a big glob of this on my hand and just run it through my hair and at this point if your hair is starting to feel kind of dry I would go ahead and wet your hands and then put this in while your hair is still wet so the key is to keep your hair wet as you're putting the product in I wouldn't say like sopping wet but enough to where it makes the squish squish sound when you're curling it so or scrunching it I should say so I put the mousse in so I flip my head over I put the mousse in I'm doing the scrunching and all of that this helps keep the frizz down and then this gel I discovered on TikTok, and I love it because it's a huge thing of it I can't remember how much it was I got it at Target it was not expensive at all but it's the eco style olive oil styling gel and this is where i take quite a large glob of this as well i would say like two quarters worth and this is where i turn my head upside down and i scrunch i'm scrunching and i'm scrunching and then i get my hands wet again if it starts to feel dry but the point is it should feel like your hair is very very well coated in this gel and then by that point that is where this situation comes in so with my head flipped over I grab my hair, I twist it, I twist it, I twist it. So I kind of make, I'm like twisting it like this while my head is down. And then I bring it up and I wrap it around my head. Like I wrap it around itself, which is kind of, kind of hard to describe. And then I have one of these little claw clips. It's a square one, so it looks like this. And you probably can't see because I'm about to take it out but there is a pink one here. So I clip it with the ends of my hair in there 
and then I take a very large scrunchie, which I got these from TJ Maxx, and I kind of put it over like ballerina bun style just to, just to hold everything. Sometimes you gotta have the scrunchie, but then in the morning I can just do a body shower, and we will go ahead and take this out. But then when I take it out, you will see that it's actually still damp. But this is where I just kind of fluff it and there's no crease. That's the thing I love about this method is with the claw clip and the scrunchie and it being wrapped like that, there's no, there's no crease. So it kind of looks like I just got out of the shower and this is where you can reapply some product and then I kind of try to separate those front pieces. And then this is where I take that same clip that I used from earlier and I will just grab like a couple of the pieces and just do a quick clip. I'll pull on it a little bit just to give it, don't wanna call it the poof, but you know, cause it's still kind of in the, it's drying phase. It's still a little wet. And like I said, this is where you can take more product, get your hands, yes, get your hands wet and scrunch if you need to, which sometimes my ends, my ends need that. But that is kind of my updated curly hair routine. It's not all the way dry yet, but I've, and it doesn't give me the most defined, structured, textured curls, but as a new mom who is just trying to like do her hair really quick and have it look like I at least made some kind of effort, this is, this is the go-to look. So she slept for two and a half hours. It's right around 2.30 now. She fell asleep around noon. So I got a lot of writing done. She's still got her eyes closed as she's drinking this bottle. But I wrote 1,541 words, which is awesome. I think I'm at 45,000 words. Hang on, let me open up my laptop. So with that word count session, Eyes are open now. <laughs> I am at a total of 44,937 words, which means I'm at the 90% mark. So I only have 10% of, well, not of the whole book because really I've only written half the book at this point, but to get to that 50,000 word count target, I've only got 10% left to write, which is so exciting. So. I really feel like the creative juices are flowing today, so definitely during her next nap, I, oh my gosh, I'm just realizing, because she fell asleep right when I was supposed to put all the crock pot ingredients in the crock pot. <laughs> okay, so as soon as she's done eating, I'm gonna have to go do that and do a couple other things out in the kitchen that I wasn't able to do because we were having a little contact nap but I'm hoping I'll be able to write some more later this evening and that way that'll just decrease the word count required for the next few days. You wanna get bundled up and go for a walk in the store? to do daily walks with Ivy in her stroller to walk for at least a mile, which let's pause. We are at one, she's looking at me like I'm nuts, 1.2 miles. We've still got to do this lovely loop and then head back to the house, but I decided to go for a walk 
at 4.30 in the afternoon because it's not crowded because a lot of people are driving home from work. So the sidewalks are open usually around dinner time and 7 p.m. and onward. The sidewalks around here get really busy because everyone's wanting to enjoy the cooler weather and go for walks. Not to say that my husband and I won't go for a stroll a little later in the evening, but I also feel like this is the warmer part of the day. So that's my goal, daily walks with Ivy. change your your onesie it's a little bit of a mess that we got going on but I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here I don't know if you can hear the congestion in my voice we had the flu bug the cold bug just a bunch of bugs run through our house I feel like I got so much footage and then when I pare everything down cut the b-roll add the music it's like you know 10 minutes or so so we're just gonna leave it here Thank you for coming along with me for my, was this the week four nano diary? I think it was. At this current moment, when I'm filming this outro, I am only about 2,000 words away from hitting the 50,000 word count target. And so I've got today and tomorrow to write. So really it's just 1,000 words each day. And then we have written 50,000 words of Shadow Crown Book 6. You blown babos. Babosh, babosh. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'm hoping to be back in December with some like winter reset videos and just kind of like cozy holiday videos. I'm not doing Vlogmas because just mental health reasons. I also just don't have the time or energy to be posting videos every day. But kudos to those creators who are doing Vlogmas. I will be watching your videos. But again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>